Dinosaurs are in our world. And with every confrontation, we learn more about this frightening new reality. How did we get here? It's been three decades since the deadly events at Jurassic Park, and we've yet to find a way for these animals to live safely among us. After the devastating eruption of Isla Nublar's long dormant volcano, those who survived were transported to the mainland. Many of the larger predators were captured, but the remaining creatures scattered here in Big Rock National Park. While most remained in the wild, those who made their way to civilization struggled to adapt to unfamiliar conditions. Local authorities have warned the animals are unpredictable and when hungry, extremely violent. As the dinosaurs spread across borders, a global black market has risen. To combat the growing threat of illegal poachers, the U.S. Congress awarded sole collection rights to the global giant, Biosyn Genetics. At Biosyn, we're dedicated to the idea that dinosaurs can teach us more about ourselves. CEO Lewis Dodgson has created a sanctuary in Italy's Dolomite Mountains where he hopes to study the dinosaurs' ancient immune systems for unique pharmaceutical properties. While Biosyn believes we can handle genetic power responsibly, the public remains skeptical. Some note that these government contracts have led to massive spikes in Biosyn's profits, and rumors persist of a human clone who mysteriously disappeared, leading to a worldwide search. Some believe she's genetically identical to Charlotte Lockwood, deceased daughter of Jurassic Park co-founder Benjamin Lockwood. Now that we've brought these animals back from extinction, can we face the consequences? Are we responsible for them, or should they be left to fend for themselves? As we adapt to an ever-changing world, we must find answers to these questions for their safety, as well as for our own. Don't be like this now. So...